Yeah, thank you very much, Tristan. Um, again, there is no question yet in the Q&A. Maybe there's still something coming, but let, let me ask a question. Um, so just at, at the very end, you, you said that um, when you do this back mapping, you can use the pair distribution function as a criteria to how good the structure that you predicted um, is. Is this the only one you use or do you also use other ones? Or because pair distribution function, I would guess is not super unique, right? Right. Um, so uh, yeah, first of all, thank you. Um, thanks for the invitation for the question. Um, yeah, so the pair distribution function is is not the the the, the best metric. It's it's a, but it is a very uh, common metric uh, in the field to look at at at, at the very basic aspects of of uh, liquid structure. And so we wanted to look at this. Uh, we also looked at we also used uh, nonlinear dimensionality reduction to also um, probe to what extent we could we could um, the, the 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 back map structures landed on the original optimistic structures and, and that works also very well. I see. Yeah, very very interesting. Um, is there anything that you have, Matthias? No, so there's no hand up and no question at the moment. Uh, last chance to the audience. Yeah, I, I actually have one question. Ah, now they're coming okay. in. <laughs> Good. So there's actually a, a question from Andrew Ferguson. Um, are there other features in your polymer membrane design that you can account for, such as cost or processability? Hmm. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I, I don't, well, I, I guess the, if, if the data was there, right? Uh, I think this is the, this is the, this is the main thing missing. Uh, whether, whether we, we need, you know, can we, can we, uh, we need to have enough uh, information about, about cost or processability from, from, from enough uh, polymer membranes to then train a model from, for, for, for that. Um, it's, it's, I think it'd be, I think it's a great question. that's very relevant to the workshop. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there are actually more questions uh, coming. So there's one by Joel Davidson. Um, thank you very, for a nice talk. Can these synthetic membranes be used to separate CO2 from air? Uh, so we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll see. So, so there's been, there's been only very preliminary uh, experiments done to, uh, to, to look at these, uh, to look at this, uh, the permeability and the, the selectivity against different gases, um, whether that can be uh, um, more engineered into, into, uh, to, to separate CO2 from air. Well, uh, I think, uh, I think there's, there's, there's more work that needs to be done, but there's uh, interest in, in, uh, in, uh, from the experimental groups, at least to uh, follow up on this. All right. And then here I have one last question, um, at least so far, from Kurt Kramer. For backmapping, did you think of hierarchical of, of an hierarchical approach using different levels? Hmm. Um, not yet, uh, but that would be that that would be really so that would be great, right? Sort of like that would be sort of more, more, more systematically bridging between not just two scales, but more. And uh, I, I think if if you if you have tools that that really accurately bring you between at least between two scales, then you can start talking about about uh, doing this for more of them. Um, it, yeah, it's it's a great idea. All right. Um, any hand being raised? Um, not that I can see. All right. So I guess. Um, Thank you very much again, Tristan. Thank you so much. So thank you very much for the talk and also for the answers to the questions.